Hi, I'm John Tobin. I'm the EMS captain for the Mesa Fire and Medical Department. I want to talk to you a little bit today about what we've done for our out-of-hospital cardiac arrest resuscitation program. Uh, when we started out, we were, in the state of Arizona, we were saving about 3% of the people uh, due to cardiac arrest, and that wasn't good for anybody. So what we decided to do it was implement a state-advised program of hands-only CPR, and that dramatically increased our save rates to about the 26% rate for witness VFib. In the spring of 2010, we entered into a project with the University of Arizona, the Zoll Corporation, and the Arizona Department of Health Services, and we were intending to improve our cardiac arrest survival rates. And we did that in, in a kind of a three-pronged approach. We talked to our members and trained them very intently on high-quality CPR and what that means. We talked to them about the rate was very important, the compression depth was very important, and the amount of time that they're on the chest was very, very important. We also incorporated the pit crew method. And then the third thing that we used is real-time feedback for CPR. So we have a dashboard on our E-Series Zoll monitors that we use to see exactly what we're doing. We showed that we had dramatic improvements by using those three things. Um, we more than doubled our survival rates to discharge, and we more than doubled our rates to survival for a CPC score of a one or a two. We're at about the 56% survival to discharge rate, which is really, really good. Um, but what we're shooting for is 75% of witness VFib arrests. And that's kind of our mindset out there, is we always want to continue to improve. Some of the methods that we have done, we have done so much training with our, our responding crews that a lot of the things that we need to do now is beef up the rest of the chain of survival. So what we have done is we have implemented a dispatch assisted CPR program that instituted the American Heart Association's 2012 guidelines for, for dispatch centers. We implemented the two question model, the are you, is the patient conscious now and are they breathing normally? And then immediately entering into CPR instructions. Um, another avenue that we're we're doing right now is we're beefing up our public access defibrillator program. Um, we're putting them in every single city building and we've evaluated every building to see if they actually need more than one uh, pad device. So hopefully we're going to inch and inch and inch, just keep pushing that envelope, just keep pushing a little bit and keep improving.